I've always seen No-No on TV and I always wondered if it worked. And it definitely, I can see what everybody talks about now. It's not a razor. It's not a laser. It's No-No from Radiancy, the number one hair removal system in the world. It's absolutely okay. no pain. Can't believe the difference, Al. It's almost hair free. No-No gives you no hair with no pain. So when I was 13, I started shaving my legs and my underarms, um, and I wanted to remove the hair that I was growing on my face. Um, my mom is very, very fair, so although she was obviously caring about my emotional kind of state back then, she didn't really understand what I was going through because she's blonde with blue eyes, um, whereas my dad is very dark, um, dark curly hair, and I got a little bit of, of both sides. So we started waxing and threading. Um, I was really uncomfortable with the facial hair, but I actually ended up getting a, a lot of inflammation and uh, pimples after I would thread or wax. So I had to stop um, from when I was 13 till two and a half years ago when we got the no-no in. Um, I didn't remove my facial hair. I would just go to work and <laughs> let it be as it was. And when I would remove um, my eyebrow, like I would go and get threaded, often they would encourage me to do my upper lip. Um, so it was really, really frustrating because there was nothing I could use. When the no-no came in, I was really hesitant and I, I wasn't really comfortable using it on my face. So I actually started on my arms um, a couple times a week for, I'm going to say a good three or four months before I actually got the confidence to start on my face. But I can go about a month and a half now without using the no-no um, on my face as well as my other areas. So I started noticing abnormal hair growth at about 27 years old, um, places that women shouldn't have body hair at that age. So I went to the doctor and I was diagnosed with high testosterone. Um, and I knew what that meant. Uh, going forward, I looked for many different areas of hair removal that would take it away permanently. And I was told I was a great candidate for laser. Uh, light skin, dark hair. So grabbed one of those Groupons for 99 bucks and what they don't tell you is it's for a very, very small area and I wanted to do most of my body. So I forked out $1,000 at the start and went through my six treatments. Had to go through another six treatments, which was another thousand. And when those were done, I had to do another six. So it was up to about 16 treatments and quite a few thousand dollars before I said, okay, this is not working for me, as it wasn't, very painful. Um, it was about the same time we got the no-no in, so I, I knew what I had to do. Um, I bought it because I knew I had the commitment and what I wanted to work towards. Um, it was playing a role in how I felt about myself as a woman, uh, not wanting to date, not wanting to go to the beach, wear skirts, etc. So I committed to the no-no. Um, it was hard at first, um, it was a little bit tedious. I mean, nobody's ever taken a razor to their legs at 12 and said, this is easy. Um, so I knew it took practice, but about four months into it, I realized, oh my God, I haven't shaved this week. Uh, and that was a first for me. I had to shave sometimes twice a day. So it almost re-energized me and I had, I had to keep going and I did. And it took me a little bit longer because with the high testosterone and my ethnicity, um, it took me about 11 months to see my full results. But it's been almost four months since I've had to remove hair in any aspect. So it was probably the best thing that I ever did. I love my no-no, I use it everywhere. I even do it in my bikini area, I absolutely love it. It took me about six months before I had no hair at all. Um, whenever I was doing it, I would still have to shave after no-knowing for the first few months. Um, now I don't have to do anything at all, I just use my no-no. Um, I did it for six months while I was pregnant, completely safe to do whenever you're pregnant. Um, I loved it. Now I go about three months without having to do anything at all. Um, I always use the Y-tip whenever I'm no-knowing. I find that it covers a bigger area faster, um, and I love it. So when we first uh, received the no-nos in stores, uh, we were all quite skeptical about how it could possibly perform for so many different uh, people and their hair types. Um, so we decided to give it a go uh, across the board. Um, roughly after about a year and a half of using the no-no, uh, we've got a lot of different results going on. Uh, myself, personally, I'm looking at four months between treatments. Um, I've got a girl in the store as well that is roughly two months. And then we've got an another associate that's seeing an amazing seven-month result. 
Um, so I just think it's amazing that there's a product out there that is geared for everyone regardless of, of what their hair type is. How long before you started seeing the results? Uh, it was roughly about six months. Uh, we didn't use it initially as often as we wanted to. Once we started getting into it consistently, uh, within two to three months it was thinner, finer, lighter, and then it just started gradually taking longer and longer to come back. Was it hard to keep going when you weren't seeing those results initially? Uh, initially it was frustrating. Uh, it was one of those things where you know you want to see them right off the hop, but unfortunately yeah. that's just not the, the reality behind it. Um, the patience and the time and sticking with it is more than worth the outcome that's going to come. So, I've been having hair issues since I was nine years old, so I chose to go purchase the Nono. After using the Nono for two months, I didn't see any results, and I wasn't quite sure why. So I went to a coworker and said, can you show me how to use this Nono? And they showed me, and they showed me the correct way, and I was showing them the way I was doing it, and I was actually scraping my skin and the hair off, which wasn't getting me the results. So after learning how to use a no-no, four months into it, I'm now getting the results I wanted and I'm very happy. I do have customers that do come in <clears throat> and they say to me, um, you know, I'm not getting the results and um, you know, am I doing something wrong? And I say to them, well, here, tell me, show me how you're using it. And sure enough, they're scraping the skin just like I was and I teach them the right way and away they go. So now I'm going four months without using any treatment. So you're happy? Very happy. If I had this at nine years old, You've been, <laughs> I would have been set. Uh, so all of my hair removal experiences uh, have been with waxing and threading. Um, unfortunately, when I did that, it was never long lasting results. It was always temporary. Um, my friends always wanted me to go into laser because that's what they did. Um, I don't know how they handled it, but I saw their results. They always came out with scarring. Um, we have really, really coarse hair and like a, a, a brownish skin tone. So it wasn't always guaranteed that we wouldn't get the scars, but they took the chance and they were okay with it. Um, unfortunately with me, I'm very, I have a very sensitive skin, so laser wasn't something I wanted to do. When we got the no no in, in store, um, I was a little hesitant at first, but then I started trying it and I realized that there was no pain involved. Um, it wasn't uh, a unit that actually touched your skin, it uh, just directed to the hair. Um, and even though it took me a while to start seeing initial, initial results, um, it took me about five months, but I saw that the hair was growing back thinner and lighter. And it basically is now my, my only option of hair removal. And uh, I'm seeing results with it, so. Um, right now I go about four to five weeks until I start seeing the hair grow back. Since I uh, turned 39, I started noticing that I was getting uh, facial hair, especially along the chin line, and it was uh, coming in really coarse and just like bristle. So I would take tweezers and I started plucking them. And I have to, at first I pluck them once a week, and next thing I know I'm plucking them like every other day. So I, I thought, what can I do with this? So I started using the no-no. When I started using the no-no, I found it really easy. It's really easy to just glide along the, the chin line. And at first, when I was using it, probably for about six weeks, I thought, I don't think anything's happening here. I don't, I don't see anything. But I kept on using it, and about three weeks after that, so it was around nine, ten weeks, I could see my hair coming in finer and finer, and it was so soft. It went from hard, hard bristle to a soft, soft hair. Kept on using it, and, and then I could go like a week without using it. I could go two weeks, and now I'm going, I've been using it for about six months, and I can go four weeks without ever having to touch my face again. I love it. I use the wide tip because I find it gives me uh, more surface, but I also find that I have very sensitive skin, so I have to put it on low, and I love the different uh, settings because I can use the low on my face, and I just love it. Hair was never really a problem for me, um, but uh, after meeting my wife and uh, getting to know her a little bit better, I realized the hair on my back was a real peeve to her, which 
kind of didn't make me feel that great and I wanted to find a solution to get rid of it. Um, I didn't want to do anything that would make the hair grow back coarser. So at that time I thought my only options were laser or waxing. I didn't want to wax because of the pain and uh, my wife being an esthetician actually, she, uh, she said I'm not a viable candidate for laser because of my uh, skin tone and uh, laser could possibly scar me. Um, I decided to take a chance on the no-no about uh, a year ago, almost 12 months, about 11 months ago. And uh, she started no-knowing my back for me. Um, it took around, uh, it, took, it took a good uh, nine months of no-knowing no my back uh, once or twice a week. Um, and uh, in the nine month period, uh, my hair actually has gone down to now nearly nothing. It's very fine. And uh, last time I know it was two and a half months ago. One of my biggest mistakes in life was actually starting to shave at a really young age. Um, I did it because I wanted to fit in and like I said, I'm regretting it right now. Um, I started getting a lot of ingrown hairs, complications started coming in where you know, I've got to tweeze it out. I'm dealing with the bleeding, the mess, the pain. I decided to switch over to an electric razor because it seemed like the easier way to go about it. I didn't mind paying over $200 for that. It was just, I just wanted to get away from the, the mess. I ended up getting a lot more skin tags. Um, the ingrown hairs actually doubled, uh, which I hated. Uh, I thought there was no other option. Believe it or not, uh, I ran into the no-no and um, I started using it. I'm four months into it. Uh, now I just, uh, I just have to use the no-no, and um, I'm not touching up with anything else. I love it, the fact that I don't have to, my girlfriend doesn't have to use a tweezer to remove my ingrown hairs. There's no more embarrassing skin tags. Um, I don't have to worry about my collared shirts being run around my neck and uh, having to itch myself. As I'm standing here right now, I'd probably be itching my neck, but it's the fact that I don't have to deal with the bacteria, and I absolutely love it. One of the biggest challenges I find selling the no-no is that people that have bought it online and aren't particularly happy with the product. I had this one customer who came in, told me it didn't work. She had returned it after two weeks. So I started getting into it with her, how she had been using it, why she wasn't happy. And in the demonstration, I realized that there was a lot of key points she was missing and not using the, pro the product properly. Um, so she did repurchase the product and then called me a week later to thank me and how much she appreciated the hands-on demo and how that she was happy with the product now and using it correctly. So I also know that there is a lot of reviews that are negative online, but I do know the no-no works and I have lots of satisfied customers when they come into our store because they are trained to use the product properly and they get fantastic results.